there. Then you have to you have the Marlins. It's an interesting team with some interesting arms. The Marlins, I certainly expect to take a step up. That team was surging at the end of the year, made it into the second round of the playoffs, brought up a bunch of prospects, added to their team, guys like Starling Marte, Adam Duvall. So the Marlins were initially a team that their win total came out at 67 and a half. I would have recommended betting that over. It's kind of settled right into where I have it projected. Can their young arms hold up? I mean, I love that they get six to Pablo Lopez. He's probably my favorite pitcher that I love to lose money on. And Alcantara at the top of that rotation are, are really exciting to build on. I really do like the Marlins because you have Sixto Sanchez, Pablo Lopez, Sandy Alcantara, Alicia Hernandez. These are great starters. The problem is we don't know if they can stay healthy and we don't know how deep that they can go into games. Are any of them going to have over 170 innings pitched this season? And so, you know, you have a bunch of relief pitchers who have a K-9 rate below nine. So, I mean, every game is going to get blown. So like I said on the AL podcast, I have an everyday wake-up call to bet Toronto Blue Jays and Orioles games on the over because of the pitching. Same thing with the Marlins. They are a first five bet for me on a daily basis. Just same thing when, when Brady Singer is pitching for the Royals. If there's a first five value bet there, I'm going to hit it. So for the Marlins, you know, they added Starling Marte. Uh, his, <laughs> his plus 1.7 value in war is negated by his negative 3.1 in defensive war. So, uh, you know, that, that's kind of a problem. But the Marlins are working their way up, and I like them. 